Listen, Monique and Chris Samuels done quit the damn show. They quit reality television for the second time today. Uh, Jasmine Brand exclusively reports fans of Monique Samuels will see a little less of her on TV, at least for now. Sources tell us that the reality TV star and her husband, Chris Samuels, are not returning for the new season of Love and Marriage DC. We're told that they did not film anything for season two. And sources also tell us that the decision not to return was totally Monique and Chris's. Y'all, this is really interesting given the fact that they had this whole separation scandal and they were preparing to film for a season two. They told us that they told the producers that they were living in separate homes. And so to get that information and then to know that they were filming, I believe they started filming like a month and a half ago. And then we just started seeing maybe like a couple of weeks ago, these promos for Love and Marriage DC of them saying, oh my God, Love and Marriage DC, we're returning January of 2023. And we're like, oh my God, it's happening. It's happening. And then all to turn to find out that Monique and Chris Samuels have not been filming. They didn't quit the damn show. It was too much reality TV PTSD for Miss Monique Samuels. Now, listen, we have two questions that we need answers to. The first is why in the hell did they quit the show? And the second is, do we think that the show can survive without them? Okay. So for me personally, and y'all start commenting down below, let's have a dialogue. Let's talk about it. For me personally, I feel as though, um, why did they quit the show? Because they're desperate to save their marriage as they should be. And I know that they know that the show feeds into drama and negativity. And if you're really serious about, you know, this failing marriage that you are trying to resuscitate, then you need to get off of the reality television. It's going to bring you nothing but drama and negativity, right? And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that the show is nothing but drama and negativity. There is some positivity sprinkled in there a little bit. But at the same time, it's like maybe you should just fully focus on the show. I think the second reason why or focus on your marriage. I think the second reason why she quit is because I feel like this show has been a PR nightmare for Miss Monique Samuels. Right. I feel as though, you know, coming off of the hills of Real Housewives of Potomac, she was fairly popular, even though Candace versus Monique was like one of the biggest debates of the century. It'll go down in history as one of the biggest debates in reality TV show history. I feel like. She came out of the situation being fairly popular. Then she started doing the YouTube channel and the binder time stories. And that's when I felt like the PR crisis began. Then she ended up because they were saying, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, she's obsessed. Like, you don't care about these women and you rag and drag on these women and you want nothing to do with the show. But you keep talking about the show. Right. And then. OK. And then she signed on Carlos King. The producer convinced her, well, come over to own and I'm going to get you right and tight. Right. So she goes over to own and it ends up being a PR disaster. She ends up saying that she doesn't feel like she was portrayed fairly, which I thought was interesting because I think one of the main reasons why she ended up doing a show with Carlos King is because she felt like he was going to do her fairly, but she didn't think so. And Monique, babe, love Monique to pieces. Love her personally. Love her. But I don't know why you think these people are going to do you right. This is a dirty, 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 dramatic business. They're going to try to make you look bad at every turn. OK, and so. I don't even know why she put trust in the Potomac producers and in Carlos King and online. It just girl. With that being said, though, um, yeah, so she ended up returning and I do feel like it was a PR disaster because I felt like people on social media kept saying, oh, she's nagging her husband and she keeps complaining and all we see her do is air out, air out her grievances and. Chris is a great uh, father. He's a great husband. He's a great this. And she's not being appreciative. And she's not thankful. And she's not grateful. She keeps disrespecting her husband. She's exploiting her relationship for reality TV cameras and ratings and stuff like that. And I'm just kind of like, I mean, that is what reality television is. You exploit your personal life for ratings and checks. But, I mean, different conversation for a different day. Right? And so I say all of that to say it was a PR disaster for Monique Samuels, in my personal opinion, as well as uh, I felt like, you know, it's really not going to do that great of anything for the actual marriage. Um, with that also being said, do I feel like the show will survive? I don't know. I'm not I don't doubt that the show could be successful. I don't doubt that the show could have a successful run. But personally, for me, I'm not tuning in for boring Irena and Mean Girl Ashley. I'm not. I'm not.
I mean, I just think that's ridiculous. Like, who's going to carry the show? Now, I'm not saying Monique and Chris Samuels were the entire show, but I felt like they were they were they were the clout. They definitely were the clout. Winter carried, but Chris and Monique were the clout. Y'all gotta let me know how y'all feel about the situation. Uh, let's let's have a dialogue. Two questions: Can the show survive? And why why do you think um Chris and Monique left? All right, uh, y'all, Owen is in shambles. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day. Bye.